hi guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial we are going to discuss volcanicity and when we say volcanicity this is the process through which um, gases and molten rocks of magma are either being extruded onto the earth's surface or intruded into the earth crust and when we say volcano this is the place on earth's surface where hot molten rocks breaks through or we can say volcano is a vent that connects the molten rocks from within the earth cross into the earth surface and volcano includes the surrounding cone of erupted materials where do most volcanoes erupt the molten rocks um, is having lower density and therefore it rises off through the crust to erupt on the surface and also magma reaches the surface of the earth it depends on how easily it flows and the amount of gases it has and so also when there is large amount of gases and high viscosity of magma then we will experience explosive eruption meanwhile when there is small amount of gases and low viscosity of magma then it will form explosive uh, effusive eruption then where do most volcanoes occur? Most volcanoes occur in the divergent and convergent. When you say divergent plate boundary, or in convergent plate boundaries, and also in the hot spots. And the important parts of volcanoes include, but not limited to, magma, magma chamber, conduits, vents and con then types of volcano we have types of volcano on basis of activity which are being divided into three where we have an active volcano which has started at least and erupted at least um during the past 10,000 years and also we have dormant volcano which have not been erupted in a long time but are expected to erupt again in the future then we have extinct volcano which has not erupted in the past 10,000 years. Here are some sketches that um, explain such scenarios. Then we also have